Hey everyone, this is Tim McKean from eLearning. In this video, we're going to look at reopening an assignment for a student. This could be a situation where you had a student that missed a due date due to an illness or some kind of excusable reason and you want to give them some extra time to submit an assignment. Or maybe this is a situation where uh, they submitted their assignment but you wanted to give them some feedback and give them another chance to redo it. Um, and sometimes there's a situation where you don't want to open it up for everyone in the course, but you want to open up and give some specific kind of exemption to a particular student. So that's what we're going to look at today. So here I am looking at uh, an assignment from a student's point of view. And you can see up in the upper right hand side here that it says it's available. It was a, in our faculty development course and this particular assignment was available until April 30th and you see that there is no um, submit button available for this student. So if I wanted to give this student some extra time for whatever reason they needed to resubmit this assignment past the availability date, then I go back in as the instructor view and I'll go and you can see here that it says that this is assigned to everybody until April 30th. So I can go into my edit view and then I scroll all the way down to the bottom to this window called the Assign To window. And you can see here that it's assigned to everyone with this availability date. One of the things that's not so clear is this Add button down here. So I can click Add, and now I can assign it to someone else with a different availability date. So I'm going to assign Greg Richards the chance to submit past that date. and it's. July 13th right now as I record. So if I wanted to give him until tomorrow to um, turn in this assignment, I can put tomorrow as the availability date. Notice I haven't changed the due date at all. I don't, it didn't even have a due date set. If there is a due date, I could still make it due back there in April and it could still count as late or whatever. But again, the whole point of this video is that you have the ability to assign different availability dates and due dates to different people in your course. And notice now that, that I've added a separate um, designation for Greg, now this one has changed to everyone else. So it doesn't say everyone anymore, now it says everyone else. So everyone else still has the availability date of April 30th, so you haven't opened it up for your entire course, you've just opened it up for this particular student for that whatever special circumstances um, that they're dealing with. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then if I skip back over to student view and I refresh that page, then all of a sudden you can see that this particular student now has a new availability date of July 14th and now has a submit button. Hope that helps you out. If you have any other questions, be sure to send them over to us. We're slowly working our way, creating videos for all the different kind of questions and comments we got from our Canvas needs assessment. So if you have one and you'd like to see a video about your question, let us know.